Hello, 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 it is Eliatana and I am back to play some Sims. All right, so today we are building a really beautiful wedding venue in downtown San Myshuno. Um, I was just showing off the uh, uh, background there and we're gonna get started. But basically I'm like super, super excited because if you're not aware, um, there's a lot of hints going on about how the new pack, game pack that's going to be coming out is going to be wedding themed. And I'm doing a Black Widow challenge right now, so I'm having a lot of weddings naturally. And I wanted to have different venues because like my Black Widow Rosalie, she's not about to like repeat wedding venues. Like no, not happening. Anyway, so I decided, you know what, let's build a nice like classy wedding venue in downtown San Myshuno that's like super nice you have the nice view of the like bay and everything and it makes everything so beautiful and lovely there is really there's three stories to this place the second story is where you like start seeing the view really so that's why i wanted to make sure everything was like second story and above um there's also like a downstairs sort of patio area that's covered um that also has a bar and seating for like the guests but there's like basically going to be three levels and on the third level is where I have this beautiful indoor and outdoor two spaces um, wedding arch area so you actually get married up at the top floor and you get the best view from those windows up there. I also used the industrial loft kit window in case you didn't notice. I really wanted to sneak that in there so I did. Um, but yeah basically I'm this pack, I am super happy that it's coming. I want there to be a wedding pack so badly. There's so many things that I need, like bachelorette parties, bachelor parties. Like that was my favorite from Sims 3 Generations. Like it was so fun to do that. I'd love to be able to do bridal showers. I'd love to be able to have like engagement ring shopping or like a dress shopping. You can have bridesmaids, like those types of things. Like it's like you, you we can barely get Sims to sit down in a wedding right now. So I want to be able to do like, a real wedding in a place and then apparently there might be a destination like a so maybe a destination wedding type place so i'm thinking maybe mexico vibes because like i know a lot of people that do destination weddings in mexico being from canada so um yeah that's what i think is gonna happen but we will see hopefully a game pack comes soon really soon but <laughs> what i digress so I'm using these uh, eco lifestyle big windows up here because I really want the view to be the main attraction, right? Um, there's also just like the big, big, tall, normal windows from eco lifestyle that are classic. Um, but the sliding doors as well for the patios, it really uh, open up the space and make it nice and light. I also decided let's do a skylight because of course. Uh, so we have a skylight on the third floor. So you get all that sun coming in and it's so bright and beautiful when you get married. Um, I've had two weddings here so far at this place um, and both of them have been pretty good. Um, like the, I actually had in both of them people sit down to watch, which was, vi which was crazy. And maybe it's because of the way I set it up because I had like couches up there so like hopefully people would like sit there and not stand I think that's kind of why but yeah I was like super excited when that happened also I love doing that when I have the two-story windows and I can do like this the two full windows on the first floor and the second floor it looks so cool to me so on the first floor of this place we do have a few things so there's bathrooms down there uh, so that's where all this the stalls and stuff are there's also a kitchen so that little spot off the side there that I was just working on and put that eco lifestyle door on, that's the kitchen space. And we need the kitchen space because we need to have a space for caterers to make our pancakes. Because yeah, for some reason, the last, the weddings I've had, the first wedding I had, the caterer just kept making French toast. Like she made like four platters of French toast and I couldn't move them. So they were all just sitting in the um, kitchen and, and it was like everyone was crowding and it was just like terrible and it, it took a very long time for me to get the cake out because like I had to get people out of my way. Um, the second time it wasn't French toast, it was pancakes and it wasn't as bad because they moved to the bathroom counters to do the mixing and everything so they could still do prep and everything um, but it was still kind of inconvenient. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I have this spot here, so there's like a kind of shortcut area for the kitchen. You can go out and go straight to the patio. Because that patio area, like I said, is where I have all the, um, uh, what are they called? 
tables. Yeah, the long tables where people sit for, like, eating. And I really tried to, like, landscape it up, make it, like, really nice. Um, it was kind of hard to figure out how, though. I really like these uh, lights. Um, they've had these since, I think, City Living. And I like them a lot. They're, they work really well for most of the stuff that I do. Um, I wish that I could make them slightly smaller if possible. Like, you know how like the, you see how it's just like poking and you can see that, like that's so annoying. I had to cover it up, you know? I, it's just like stuff like that. I wish that the Sims, like we could like extend the lights and stuff or like it would like automatically go, I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm talking about things that are like debug that I shouldn't be, you know, stressing that about. Um, I also put that pink tree there, but then I changed my mind because I really wanted um, the big nice tree from Henford where it's like all lit up and stuff. So I ended up losing, using that. But yeah, debug landscaping really is a game changer. It helps so much. Um, you find so many items that are not, again, not normally accessible. So it's kind of interesting. And so yeah, just try to get as much of the landscaping in as I can to start uh, before I get into the inside, because really in the inside it's a lot easier to deal with. So um, I ended up using kind of large bushes, but not large enough to like fully cover the space. Um, but I think there was a good compromise. And again, these those bushes are not available in the regular um, build by. Like I had to do it this way. So. See, sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes debug is worth the, the struggle and the pain. Um, and it's also good because people still walk through, I think, so we should be fine. <laughs> I don't know, did I test that? I think I did, I think I walked through there. Regardless, trying to find nice pieces to fill the pond as well. Um, I love this water tool. I'm so glad they added that in with the cottage living update. That was nice. Like the, the update that they did with Cottage Living, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, yes, the archway. Good old archway. <laughs> Gotta love debug. So anyways, what do you think is going to be in this new pack? Do you think it'll be wedding and romance? I mean, they really are saying things like I do and all that stuff, so hopefully. Ah, there we go. That's where I got rid of it. I put the Henford on Beckley tree. There you go. It really does do something nice with the lights. You know, I find a lot of... Why would I put... Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Like, why would I do that? <laughs> no one's going to walk on that bridge, but it's fine. It's decorative, right? Like, that's what landscaping is all about. <laughs> beautiful. So beautiful. I'm like trolling myself a little bit right now. I really like sometimes with landscaping, I just go buck wild because I don't know what to do. Like, I just like don't know. So I just do stuff and then hope it looks good. And in debug, it's free. So if you layer it, it's fine. <laughs> but you know, oh my goodness. It did take quite a while for me to finish this landscaping. I'm not going to uh, lie. But uh, was it worth it? Yeah, probably. It, it, there's some nice pictures available to take. And um, it does, I, I mean, it does add to the ambiance a little bit, I guess. Now on the outside, I just used just like a plain white paneling. I didn't want to go super crazy. Um, you know, nothing special for this place. I don't think they would have brick or anything. It's just not the vibe. Um, although we do have a really nice marble floor that I wanted to use. Um, I ended up using the marble, I think, on the inside. I don't think I used, uh, yeah, I did. I used the marble on the inside. I wanted it to be, like, nice and fancy on the inside. That chandelier is amazing. The one thing I wish is if you had, like, when you're downstairs, it won't light up if you have auto lights on. So you have to have lights on all the time for those types of chandeliers. But they're so pretty. And I know I have, like... I feel like I, that was not, I feel like I ended up moving those lights because we have the skylights. So anyway, but see what I do is I have two separate wedding arches, one inside, one outside, and you can get the, the different views that you want. And then you have 
places to sit. And I think having places to sit is like the main goal. Um, and then of course we have a carpet to walk down. Oh, it's just so pretty. It is really nice out there. You have like the decorative piece from Blooming Kit, Blooming Rooms Kit as well. And the wedding arch outside is from Cottage Living. And having the lights out there also obviously added to the ambiance makes it so much nicer. So beautiful. And it is really fun to be up at the top there. It, I looked down once on my second wedding and I was like, whoa. So, you know. All right, now on to the inside up here. Again, I'll do similar where I get like a nice carpet uh, right down the middle. And then I'll get some couches to kind of seal the deal. Uh, these couches are like super cute. I really like them. Oh, yeah, I had to adjust a little. Let's see, again, the, the lights were the same length, but if I didn't want it that length, see, it's difficult. It's very difficult sometimes. Also, trim is difficult to deal with. I wish it was easier in The Sims, but you know. All right, back to reality. So the inside here, we have the love seat. I really thought that that was cute. <laughs> and then, you know, I really wanted to put that bathtub, but I was just, I needed to know. Um, I wanted it to also be super like white winter wonderland type thing. So it's like very, because that was where I was having my first wedding. It was going to be in the winter and I wanted to make sure that it was good. Um, I still put that light there and I'm pretty sure that light the skylight's gonna be in the way, but that's all right. I really just went all out here with the decorations. I don't know if it looks super great with the palm trees, but I think it adds to the ambiance a little bit at least. And then there is just basically, yeah, just getting some artwork on the walls, making it a little bit more, you know, inviting. Get a side table. And yeah, then we're up, done upstairs. So next we're going to the second floor. So second floor, oh wait, no, maybe we're going to the patio. Never mind. So patio. <laughs> so the patio, like I said, there's a seating area and that's where this fire pit is kind of coming and it's uh, got the couches there surrounding it. Um, and then also the bar. So the bar is coming right in this sort of corner here where I just put the mouse. There we go. Yeah, see? Anyway, um, so we have the bar there and there's an availability for people to get in if necessary, we're fine. Um, and then we also have the sections with the tables. So then I used the same tables. I wanted it all to match, you know? If we're gonna do it, we might as well match. <laughs> and then we got some beautiful flowers to put on the table. You know, floral is very important for weddings. This is very purple. And then I ended up putting like a little stage platform there because I wanted there to be a spot for like the entertainer. So we have the pianist that sits there and we have like um, a mic and then there's also the violin and guitar on the other side. Um, so they're not just, you know, not just the piano. There's lots of options here for your entertainers to take your wedding in different directions. Whether they do it or not, is a good question, but you know, regardless. I also put a lot of these like lights that kind of come from the floor, the glowy lights. I thought that they were really cool for the ambiance. All right, now into the bathroom. So we have how many stalls total? I think we have two stalls in each, um, which is fine. And there's no gender to each one. So anybody can go to either bathroom. Uh, which helps out in certain situations, <laughs> especially when the there's everyone has to pee at once. It's a problem when like your the one bathroom is stuck, you know, like you can't use it because there's people in there. Anyway, just kind of made them very neutral and fun the little bathroom spaces. I mean, it's not super fancy. I don't know, I. <laughs> You know, I am using a lot of the Realm of Magic stuff though. I did buy that recently. So like this tile for the like background paint is great. I mean, the Ravens are kind of weird. I wish there wasn't Ravens on every swatch, but like, you know.
anyways, and then we have this this down the area where you walk in. Again, it's just like a lobby foyer type area, so it's supposed to be just like really big. Um, oh yeah, I used Blooming Room kits, that big one. Oh, so cool. I love the kit, the Blooming Rooms kit. I haven't bought every kit, and this is what I want to say. If you are not interested in the items in a kit, you don't have to purchase it. I know, shocking. I, I don't. I A lot of the times I wait for sales to pick up things. I only buy things if I really am interested. Like for example, I bought Dream Home Decorator when it came out because I was very interested in that. I didn't buy the industrial loft kit because I didn't get my window. So I'm just saying it doesn't have to be one or all or nothing. You can have an opinion and just choose not to indulge in that one kid or that one pack if you're not interested in it. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Okay, so kitchen. <laughs> this is the kitchen area in here and I used the snowy escape um, sort of vibes because I thought that it would work really well with the open shelves. Um, and you know, lots of space to do stuff. The one thing I wish maybe I should have put is a second oven because we only have one and realistically there should probably be two. Um, so if that's a, a change you want to make, go for it. But I might make that change in my save. But otherwise, it's just like a cute little kitchen area. Not too many crazy things in there. I didn't want to make it too cluttery because I didn't want to lose counter space for like not being able to like you like prep and stuff. The positive thing is that these snowy escape counters have like shelves underneath so I could store some stuff under there. But you know, just having a couple of like portraits and you know, books. I pretend they're recipe books. And yeah, here we are. I'm just fix, fixing, finishing up landscaping. I'm not debugging right now because I've already debugged and I didn't want to go there. Uh, so I just had to fill in some gaps. But overall, like this place is really nice. I have really had a fun time with it. We're going to jump into the um, tour very soon because I was taking screenshots, but look how pretty this guy was. Anyways, let's jump into the... Oh wait, no, I'm not done yet. What am I talking about? I didn't do the second floor. Second floor is the indoor DJ area. So it's like the space where you go when it's cold and you want to still party, you can party on the inside there. I should have remembered that. I can't believe that. And then I also, I added a couple of seating areas as well up here because, you know, there's always a good place to have seating near a dance floor. It's really important, you know? And using that under the stair area was interesting um, because, you know, you floating stairs. So why not? Why not? And then outside, we actually put a photography spot. So you get your pictures facing that beautiful big tree with the lights on it. And it's very pretty. And you get the background shot. See, that's what you see. And I have pictures from it and I can attest that they are good. Um, check out my Judy and um, Ronald picture where the fan came in. It was really great. Anyways, and then there's also a seating area outside there. So if you wanted to sit and look at the fire, you have that option. And then I think now I'm done. Yes, now we're ready and we're going to go into a tour. Once I finish taking all of my screenshots. I like that the skylight's better this time. It's not as overhangy as it normally is for me. All right, into the tour we go. This was my second wedding, by the way. So um, I've already had a wedding at this place. Look, a thorn just in the way. But anyway, here is our venue. So you walk up and this is in the winter. So you get the full winter wonderland vibes, but there's no snow on the ground right now. Don't ask. It's just the way it is. Okay, so then... We're gonna come in and you have the industrial loft kit window at the top there. And here's the foyer you walk into, um, very open and airy and stuff. Uh, when you go down into this one room here on these two sides, we have the bathrooms on this side. So one room right here, and then another one's just right beside. And then we have some just little pieces of green, little plants everywhere, because I love plants. And then on that side, we have the kitchen. So it's 
nice and airy. We have coffee available because people usually fall asleep at the weddings. Um, I don't know why. Anyway, you can go out these doors and you have this beautiful view of the harbor and of the light tree. You can go out that way to get more pictures if you want. And then we walk around the corner and we have the reception area. We already have our mixologist at the bar ready to go. But this is where the party happens downstairs and outside. It's kind of like the vibe. All these spaces to sit, so you can get your drinks, you can eat, there's entertainment, everything you need. And then you have this lovely Blooming Rooms kit piece to make it very, like, edgy out here, in my opinion. Anyways, I really think the view of the harbor is so cool out here. Like, that's definitely part of the aesthetic of this place, I think. It's the Salt House wedding venue, right? Like, it's it's there for a reason. It's on the old Salt House grounds, so gotta use that view that the Salt House came with. Duh. Anyway, up the stairs we're going to go... And then we end up on the second floor. So second floor is our DJ dance floor area. So if you want to come party inside, this is the space for you. Um, and then, you know, still have the views of the harbor through the windows. Again, like I said, I wanted to utilize second floor and up so you get the best views possible. When you come out on the second floor deck, look at that. Just lovely, just beautiful. I didn't go over to the photography section, but you know where it is on that other side. So you can change the angles and get all these beautiful shots of the harbor. And if you can get them at sunset, trust me. Anyway, third floor. On the third floor, we move a lot faster. So I'm stressed, but don't worry about it. Here's the upstairs, the upstairs wedding arch area. And you have the skylight. The skylight is so big. I feel like I made this skylight way too large, but I'm totally here for it. It just gives just this essence. Um, there's so much more light coming in uh, at any given time of day, honestly. Even if it's dark, you still get stuff out of it. And then you can see the harbor still through those windows. And so you're getting married right in front of the harbor. And then, of course, once I get a very good screenshot of this, uh, we're going to go outside and look at the outside of space. And this one, you get the beautiful view of the tree, which is dead right now with the lights. But in the summer, man. So... There we have it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to download it, it is now available in the gallery under my ID, Aliatana. So thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.